We have just received new information regarding Arc 8 from Tape, the man himself. Of course, all of this information is brought to us by Ice, per usual. Ice states that Tape says that Arc 8 won't be as long as Arc 7. So, of course, a lot of us are going to be a bit happy about that, considering the fact that Arc 7 was pretty long. Not only that, Arc 8 will be a series of climaxes, so a lot of things will be happening around the same time in a sequence, which is really great because Arc 7 again had a lot of downtime. Not only that, we do see that Volume 35 will be coming out in September, that means a ReZero web novel hiatus will be over soon. Of course, as usual, we also have the illustrations, with one of the colour spreads being Amelia and Vincent's handshake, of course being the conclusion of the actual volume, where Emilia agrees to help Vincent Valakia essentially win the war against this new enemy. The second colour illustration is Subaru looking at Todd with Todd's transformed werewolf stage. So this is obviously how Todd looks when he transforms into a werewolf. He looks pretty cool and yeah, I mean, nothing much to say about it. It's a really good illustration. We have another illustration of like glass shattering and Todd with this sort of mischievous grin. I'm not too sure exactly where this is in the web novel. Maybe when uh, Todd turns evil again and attacks Subaru or he sort of reveals his identity um, of being a werewolf. I have no idea, to be honest. We also have Amelia and what seems to be Rem attacking. I believe this is attacking uh, Todd when you know, Todd is transformed into a werewolf and attacks Subaru. We also have Halibel appearing inside of the meeting room. This is Halibel's first canon appearance and canon illustration in the Envy route that he's appeared in. We have Rem and Ram hugging each other. This is of course when they're outside of Subaru and Vincent's room, when they're having that sort of heart to heart conversation and Rem and Ram hug and essentially uh, Rem starts to see Ram as her sister again. We have another illustration of Todd and Subaru sort of talking to each other. This is most likely either after they've done the flour mill explosion or just before it. Because um, Todd does look like he's got a lot of dirt and dust on him. So they're most likely talking about it and immediately after this Todd will become aggressive. We also have Cecilus appearing in front of Sphinx. Of course, as you guys know, Sphinx is actually the antagonist. And again, she was in the EX novels, but this is the main canon appearance in the Envy route of the series. And of course, not in a EX novel. We have an illustration of Vincent's breakdown. Again, this is, of course, when he says that he was prepared to die, not to grieve. And then the description states that Vincent's eyes uh, were covered by his hands. So it's unknown if he was crying. But this is obviously that illustration where Vincent's hands are covering his eyes as he grieves at the death of Chisha. We also have an illustration of Amelia carrying Ren. This is of course when Amelia meets with Rem and saves her from the zombies and Katya and the rest of the group go on ahead and Flop takes them to safety and Amelia grabs Rem and they jump towards the location of the flour mill explosion and that's when of course they save Subaru from the werewolf Todd. We also have an illustration of Rowan who's dragging along Heinkel. Again, it's sort of hinted that Rowan might be Cecilus's father. Again, we don't really know. But again, these two uh, parents are, of course, very similar by both having very powerful children. So they can sort of resonate with he each other. We also have a few more illustrations, with one depicting Subaru getting pulled by all of his friends. Again, this is most likely when he wakes up. Um, after passing out and again you have Beatrice looking on where you have Garfield, Otto and Petra all pulling at Subaru. Again this is of course because they were arguing over who could hold Subaru's hand when he was sleeping. And the final illustration is a bit of a weird one. It seems to be a sort of character design where there's a, a prompt at the top. 
I think this is referencing like AI image generation where Otsuka has just um, drawn four versions of Ishmael and you can see the four versions of Ishmael that Otsuka has drawn. I'm assuming the top left version is the actual uh, Ishmael that he drew but he just drew different versions. Again, I'm sure more information will be posted as we go on. But that's pretty much everything. Let me know what you think. Are you looking forward to seeing how Arc 8 continues?